<laughs> hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's time for another Retro Toy Rewind. It is day seven of my 2015 13 Days of Halloween toy reviews, where I'm looking at all things slime. And as I said before, you can't talk about slime toys without talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And today, we're going to take a look at one of my absolute favorite figures from the vintage TMNT toy line, being Muckman. Muckman is a great action figure that happens to have a great oozing action feature. So let's check him out. As you can see, he comes on that beautiful retro TMNT card back. Love this old packaging with that brick wall with gray artwork of the character all the way around. You can see him dumping out a basket of uh, waste and slime up here at the top. You can see him using his uh, retro mutagen bazooka thing. And then we got Joe Eyeball down here on his back, which is a sidekick. And of course, uh, you can kind of see a little sneak peek of what his action feature is by looking at the artwork on that box. Yeah, so he's one of my favorite characters, so much so that I do happen to have both a carded version and a loose version, so don't worry, I won't be ripping this one open. I just wanted to show you guys the box because, man, I love the old TMNT boxes, right? Cool stuff. Look, you can see all the great figures that were available at that time for both the heroes, for the foot. We got our wacky action turtles at the top. Here it shows you all of the accessories, and of course, uh, one of those things that always kind of drove me crazy as a kid, uh, the accessories look fully painted on here, and they were never fully painted on the final toys, but you know, that's how it was. Um, and we also get to see his um, action feature with the ooze, which I'm going to show you firsthand when we look at the loose figure, but you can see very cool stuff. We got the muck gun, we got Joe Eyeball, which is his sidekick, and then he's got the muck pack and a removable skull cap. And of course, we got that bio and pizza points. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our loose Muckman figure so we can start checking him out. Muckman is such a really, really interesting looking character. I mean, he's got that gross out factor going on for sure. I don't know if that's the reason I liked him so much as a kid, but even to this day, this is a character that totally appeals to me because he's such a fun action figure. Basically, this is a mutated garbage man, and he is mutated into a pile of sludgy, gross, nasty trash, which is crazy that I like this guy so much, but I do. He's just so much fun. So as you can see, we've got the muck gun there. That's his accessory. Uh, and it looks like it's just a whole bunch of old cans and stuff kind of, uh, you know, mashed together and stuck together. Look, he's got a ketchup bottle for a scope on the top. Um, yeah, like I said, it's unpainted. It's all just solid gray. Look at that. Look at the little details. Turtle soup. That says turtle soup. How great is that? Peas, uh, worms, <laughs> really fun stuff. Um, one of the things that I adore about the vintage TMNT toy line is just the amount of detail that went into the sculpts. All kinds of little fun stuff. I mean, just the fact that you got little things like turtle soup on there. How cool is that, right? So he can hold that muck gun in his hand and that kind of completes his look with his weapon. And of course, his other accessory is Joe Eyeball, which is his little sidekick. Uh, the old TMNT figures always had little sidekicks, which are really great. So Joe Eyeball, really fun little slimy character there. I uh, guess he's got an eyeball sticking out of his side, and then he's got two eyeballs up here. Um, he's fully unpainted, but still really great details on the sculpt there. I love this guy. Of course, we saw Muckman and Joe Eyeball make a, an appearance in the new Nick Turtles cartoon series, and he looks very similar. Joe Eyeball's done a lot different, um, but still a lot of fun and really cool to see these classic characters. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the details on the figure itself, because man, oh man, is this figure got some seriously cool details. The sculpt on this guy is just insane. I mean, look at all this. He's got this torn up orange garbage suit that he's wearing. You can see kind of his name tag there, and he's got some sludge and stuff all over it, but look at his body it's just made up of heaps of trash and you can see all kinds of stuff worked in there and it's really gross i mean he's got worms coming out of his body you can see kind of the bones like some skeletal structure going on in his hand there um you got flies all kinds of gross little boils and stuff going on uh look you can kind of see like his insides there look at the teddy bear there's a teddy bear stuck in his stomach there's a spider over here 
We got a frog crawling up his pants. You know, we got more uh, bugs and, and worms and stuff. You know, you got a trash can. Look at that. We got bugs crawling up here. We got fish bones on the back. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing looking at all the details on this guy. He's got the muck pack, which is just a trash can. Again, more sculpted details. Sticks right in his back there. Just kind of plug it in, which is very cool. Um, and then one of the signatures, of course, he's got the trash can, or the sewer lid, I'm sorry, the New York City sewer lid that is stuck to one of his feet. You can see it just kind of mucked right on there, and that's really cool. He's got these bulging yellow eyes. He's got the clothes pit on his nose, which is always a funny touch. Gotta love that TMNT humor. Like, he smells so bad, he's gotta wear a clothes pin so he can't smell himself. Uh, look at the ratchet teeth there, the tongue hanging out of his mouth. And, of course, the little banana peel that's sitting on top of that removable skull cap. So, he's just an incredible figure. I mean, the sculpt and the detail on this guy is amazing and it's real easy to see i think why i love him so much he's so cool and i always love you know you can get joe eyeball riding in his muck pack back there so you can stick him in the back and you know you can put his uh, muck gun in his hand and now he's ready to fight the foot team up with the turtles so we're talking slime toys right and i mentioned that he's got an oozing action feature well this is where things get really fun he has two different places that we can stick some ooze so let's start here He's got the removable skull cap, right? You can just pull the top of his head out, and you got a little peg there, and now we can see inside of his head. Well, he's got this gaping open mouth here. Guess where this is leading? Yeah, we're gonna stick slime inside of his head. So look, I'm gonna get some real nice runny ooze here, right? We're gonna stick a little bit of that in the top of his head. Perfect. And guess where else we're gonna stick ooze? Yes, right there in the muck pack. So this is where things get fun, right? I'm going to put a whole bunch of ooze right back there in his back. And I'm spilling ooze everywhere. There we go. All right. So we got ooze in the top of his head. We got ooze in his pack. This is where things get fun. Ready? I'm going to stick that skull cap back on the top of his head. Oh, yeah. Look. Blah. Muck man is barfing ooze. And if we stick Joe Eyeball in the muck can back here that'll help kind of push some of this stuff down this is what's going to make the ooze come out of his gut we got to pop some air bubbles here oh but look at that slime coming out of his mouth and there we go the ooze is starting to come out of his gut as well oh you see the hole in his gut there yeah oh there it is this one you got to kind of work the air bubbles out a little bit because you want to get some nice flow going but there you go there we go get some drip oh look at that this is just one awesome, gruesome figure. Ah, oh, look, we got Joe Eyeball sitting in slime back here. We got ooze coming out of the top of his head. We got it coming out of his mouth. We've now got it coming out of the hole in his stomach. This is a seriously fun action figure. And now you can make no mistake as to why this is one of my favorite figures from the vintage TMNT toy line. I love him. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Muck Man and Joe Eyeball. This guy showed up in the recent cartoon series, which was great, and he's getting a figure in the new toy line. So I really hope we see some of these great action features continue on that new figure. Hey guys, don't forget, I am taking a look at nothing but slime toys from now through Halloween. So be sure to check out all of my other slime toy video reviews. Until next time, my friends!